March 31st, 2022. As you're looking at the impact of the CME that we were talking about in yesterday's video, and what you're looking at in the purple line is the solar wind speed, and you can see how that jumped. The plasma density in the orange above it jumped, and the temperature, which is in the green, jumped. When the wind, it's a, it's like a friction. The faster that wind speed, the more charged um, particles are involved in the density of it, and the temperature rises. Now it jumped from 423 right there, very quickly to over 500 kilometers per second. That's very fast. But notice it happened. If you look at the timestamp at the bottom, just after midnight last night, universal time. And so I mentioned uh, in the video that to watch for the quakes, and that's exactly what we saw. Notice this is um, the 31st 044. That means 44 minutes after midnight, universal time. Both this map and the solar wind map are universal time. We've got a 7.0, or 27.9 kilometers east southeast of Tadian, uh, New Caledonia. There were several there at that time, and they matched the different jumps. If you back this video up and look at the solar wind speed, where it has the jumps in it through that period of time, this is what we're seeing. This um, a lot of aftershocks. You got a 6.3, 5.9, 5.7, 5.7, 5.5. See that? And it happens every time. Now, the scientists will never even bring up the fact that these solar flares and CMEs can call, cause these earthquakes. If they would just put it into the equation, there could be, it could be like the weather. You know, the weather could mention, okay, guys, we got a solar flare and you could have some quakes because of the pressure that's put on our shields. But another strong solar flare, this happened today, it was just, it bumped the bottom of the X flare line. It was a 6.9 M. And here's what it looked like. Notice uh, the, you've got two days ago, or yesterday and today in this white bar graph. And that is the one that just happened. This is the one that just crossed the line yesterday. The, and the red line is your X flare. Notice in your bottom map here, the section, or, or you can look at that, the section that was exposed was the U.S. Notice your red arrow, I mean red dot here in the center, what's exposed, uh, the U.S., much of South America. This is what it looked like. It was, again, a 6.9, an M6.9. Now, guys, this is starting back a few days ago. 29th, notice your time stamp at the bottom, bam. 30th, we're going to have two. There's one, there's one, and then today's flare on the 31st. We'll look at that on the SDO image also. But notice after the first flare, all of the energized particles that are bombarding the uh, satellite. And the satellite is one about a million miles away from Earth. But the sun is 93 million miles, or one astronomical unit. That's where they come up with this. Now, this is a different satellite called the SDO, Solar Dynamics Observatory, Teal Camera, and you're going to see the flares. Check that out. Here's your one from yesterday coming up, top right, same area again today. There's the one from yesterday, and this is a very powerful flare, the 6.9. And let me say this, here it comes right there. But uh, the further that this thing rotates away from Earth facing, the less energy the satellites that are between us and the sun pick up it's like uh, getting a side blast if that thing had been directly at earth and the sensors on the satellites that give us the early warning uh, would more than likely have picked up an x flare this thing can go around the very edge and you can still get a blast from a, the x flare because it's a light event now they're not tracking the cme but they're saying there is one this is from yesterday just a reminder that Tomorrow night, about midnight, very close to the same time, midnight to 1 o'clock, east coast, this is the CME that's going to hit the earth right there. 0600 on the second, guys, that is universal time, and we are there five hours ahead of us. So that would be 1 o'clock, east coast time. And again, depending on the speed, it left the sun very fast. That's the one from yesterday. They are not tracking yet the, the new one. 
as soon as we get some information on it, but more than likely, from satellite indications, it is Earth-facing, because you can kind of tell from the location, but we'll know more about it when that is updated. Just wanted to come in there and mention it. It seems like the sun is really waking up. We're into the uh, entry of Solar Cycle 25. There are basically 11.8 years long so it rises in intensity for half of that period and declines in intensity into the next dip and then it will rise up into solar cycle 25 and by the way guys that corresponds with the orbit of jupiter which uh, i i have determined and i'm not uh, the expert but i think it uh, is the sun's binary twin it's a failed gas giant and if you read the ancient literature, guys, you hear a lot of, and I'm going to call it crap, and I'm sure some people will take offense, but sometimes you got to wake people up. I, I see a lot of information about, oh, planet X has been spotted. Guys, once a, a planet coming into the atmosphere, uh, excuse me, the solar system, with the satellites that we have that can reach out into the middle of the universe, the imaging, you don't think the whole world will know it? You don't, and besides that, there's evidence now, and I've done it in two different videos over the last years, that uh, the ancients called Jupiter Nibiru. Now scientists have done the modeling on what would have caused the impact in the inner solar system that took out the uh, what at that time would have been the fifth planet between Mercury and Jupiter. It's now the asteroid belt. Also, there was a collision that uh, put the moon where it's at but the models that they have tracked and what would have caused it and what how that would have happened was that something happened between the sun and jupiter jupiter does not rotate around the center of the sun like we do the grip from kind of the center of the sun's where everything's tied in and then you've got your earth sun magnetic connectivity points all the planets do but jupiter it's so large that the, the sun and it almost rotate around each other. In other words, there's a point outside of the sun, not on the surface, that is the center of the Jupiter and sun's rotation. That's how strong it is. But something happened, and uh, it was it and Saturn was pulled closer into the sun. Now, there's been a lot of speculation what would have caused that. But again, that's what the model's showing. If I can find one of the old videos, I will uh, put that back up. Many of you remember that. But uh, if I had to speculate, and that would be all it would be, uh, I would say that the sun was strengthening. It was getting more powerful. Its, its magnetic shield is called the heliosphere. Just like the Earth has the Earth shields, our, magnetic, our magnetosphere, the heliosphere encompasses the solar system. Okay? It protects a lot of the solar system from external cosmic rays events like that, gamma ray burst. It helps protect that. But the sun weakens. The heliosphere shrinks. When the sun is in, a, in the uh, peak of the solar cycles, which are declining, that's why it's called grand solar minimum, the sun is strengthening. And did it strengthen to the degree that its gravity pulled in those planets? Was it going through some kind of nova phase? Who knows? But that's what the models are showing. But I've yet to see an image that wasn't a <clears throat> sun flare or lens flare, excuse me, uh, from a camera. And if you can see it with a cell phone camera, you could see it with the naked eye, guys. And um, it's just time, for, you know, it always, I mention this about once a year, I think. And it always, um, uh, ticks off a lot of people but the truth is the truth have you guys do you realize if there was something in the solar system it couldn't be hidden there's too many independent astronomers they photographed jupiter they photograph uh, saturn some are totally independent from the uh, big observatories and the colleges and things like that that do this and it would be out so it's time to wake up, and <clears throat> I think it's one of the great distractions that you see on a lot of channels. Oh, Planet X this and Planet X that. 
show me a picture send it to me put a link to it or put a link to where we can look at the image put a video up and link come in here and tell us about it in the comments i want to see it but uh guys um it's just time to look at reality did the, does the bible mention planet x coming in no what it, what does it do it tells that this age will it will come with fire that's what you need to worry about not a planet x that is uh has no basis of truth behind it at all it's been going on way too long but guys we're watching this again tomorrow after midnight sometimes into the second early second is supposed to be the this impact from the uh, new solar flare so we're gonna have to pay attention to it because it's obvious that it can cause strong quakes these type of events we're watching it you watch it it's a heads up be safe